to have sherry, we were saying a, a manzanilla or a fino or an amontillado, what's the difference? Well, the, between manzanilla and fino there is not much difference. It's just the, at the village they are very close, so yep. all of them they have this saltiness flavor. Yep. We have one, they only sell it for two months a year, which is this one. Would it be possible maybe to try a little bit? Of course. Would you like to try this one? Yes, please. Um, I'm one of the man. Well, one of the manzanillas. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to you. Thank you. Yeah. I've been to Jerez, which is the sherry capital of Spain. I've gone through all the classes, all the tastings. But she actually managed to explain it very well in about three sentences. And <laughs> kind of thing, why didn't I just come here and speak to her? I would have had a sherry masterclass in seconds. So nice to get that level of excitement. An amazing insight and very knowledgeable. Nice touch. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What? He was a bit slapped out and slopped on the table. Looked at himself in the mirror, didn't look at, at the table. Oh, wow, okay. So, we said potato? We ordered. Okay, don't worry. I think, yeah, I don't think we ordered that. Thank you. This guy trying to give my razor clams to the wrong table. He doesn't have a clue, but I wouldn't have him out here at all. My God, and it's not even my restaurant, but it pains me. Of course we don't want that to happen, definitely not. Anyone who comes into contact with, with, with the customers needs to know what, they, know what they're talking about. Engaged. Next, Sarah's going to play one of the dirtiest tricks in the Secret Diner's book. Ow. Oh, no! putting one of her own hairs in the food. I was so, so, so pissed off. There's a hair in this salad. Oh, I just wondered yeah. if I could swap it. Thank you. No, that's OK, thank you. They've handled that really well. The waitress has taken it away. She showed it to the manager who had a good look at it. They looked at each other appalled, and she's taken it straight back to the kitchen. I don't know where it's from. It's not from the kitchen for sure because they don't have a show here. So I don't know. Aww. Anyway, I told the chef to make another one. So Thank you. Another one. Thank you very yeah, much. Please. Thank you. Apologetic. Bang, straight away. Customer at ease. Dealt with brilliantly. Do you know what? It wasn't a great step. Go off the table, go to the bus. Then things started happening. The food was fantastic. The waitress was absolutely amazing. How the fact that it was very difficult. The waiter, he's a big letdown. He doesn't know what he's doing. Lots of mistakes. He's all over the place. And that's a shame because everything else is the most hot What do you make of that? Anna, who's looking after them, did a great job. But I think sort of seeing the junior guy not up to speed is something that we can do something about and, you know, something that we, we ought to improve on, definitely. Tough test. We're only human and we need to make mistakes, clearly. But it's how you handle them. You know, we've got a couple of things to, you know, to take away and work on. Of course, we were disappointed it wasn't 100% perfect, but I think most of the team really do know what they're doing and, and you know it's a reasonably easy job for us to make sure that they all do you know, it's a good challenge for us over the next few weeks our next uh, challenge is going to be tough and uh, we must to send everything perfect so i want to win nowadays and i will love to win and i hope we win <laughs>